Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the class not registered error you might be getting in Windows, specifically Windows 10, but I believe this error could appear in earlier versions of Windows as well. So while there are a variety of issues that could be causing this, I'm going to be going over how to change a setting in the default programs area. This should hopefully present a workaround for you guys, it should hopefully fix it and we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by heading over to start menu and we're going to search up control panel you want to open that up you want to left click on the programs button at the bottom left left click on default programs Now you want to set your default programs, left click on the first option. So in most cases this would affect web applications, but if you had another kind of file extension that was opening up, so let's say you're having a PDF issue and it says class not registered, you'd want to convert it to an Adobe Reader. So you would go to your Adobe Reader settings or Adobe Acrobat and you would set that as default. But let's just say that it's a display issue and we're going to go underneath Microsoft Edge here. We're going to set this program as default by selecting the second option that says choose default for this program. So you can go one at a time here. You don't have to select all of them. So if you want to select all you can, if you wanted to go one at a time and then try the program you're having issues with and see if the issue's been resolved, you could definitely do that. And then you want to save your changes. And again, that might take a moment. If that does not resolve your problem, so if you go around and try and change your default programs associations and you're still having the issue, you could right click on the start button, left click on command prompt and in parentheses admin. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. Now you're going to type into the elevated command prompt. You're going to type SFC space forward slash scan now. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin a system scan, so it will take some time to run. So just let it run the scan, see if it finds anything automatically. And hopefully if the first method did not work for you, this one will. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.